Hey everybody, got a quick vid for you all. Just something short. I'm not gonna put too much effort into this one. Just wanted to say, I uh, I just finished reading Marcy's journal. I just finished it and oh boy, it's really good. It's definitely not perfect. Definitely not perfect. I, I think there's like a few pages that are boring, but uh, that's like, that's my only criticism. There's, I'd say of the, I think there's 120 something pages. Hold on. Uh, there's 128 entries, not pages. So I don't know how many pages it is. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything in this quick video. This is just going to be, you know, like a initial sort of thoughts on what I thought the journal was. Not going to be spoiling anything in it, but it is really, really good. It's pretty big. Uh, it took me about uh, three hours to read. I was kind of like, uh, unfocused here and there, but around three hours to read. And it's so good. It's so good. The art is so cute. And I, I think this isn't really a spoiler because I think Matt talked about this. Uh, basically how the journal is structured. It goes through Marcy's point of view in like season one and season two. You see what Marcy did in season one. See what she did, see her perspective in season two while kind of hearing her side of the uh, adventures that we literally saw her uh, go on in season two. And then season three, since Marcy is uh, stuck healing slash inside the core, she's not there to write in it. Instead, Anne has the journal instead. And we actually get to see more of Anne's inner thoughts uh, from season three. And in subtext, there was a lot of uh, stuff that you could like read between the lines in season three, it, but it's actually like written out here clear and in a much better way than uh, season three did. Cause I think like people criticize season three on like lots of little things. And obviously I think season three B does have like a few episodes that literally could have been, you know, done without or could have been combined into one thing. Uh, and season three A, it obviously does have its like slower paced episodes like Spider Sprig or whatever. But uh, seeing like Anne's, emotional state and perspective in the journal like how she felt was really really good i know i'm talking about Anne right now but i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about like the marcy section too the marcy section is so good it's really funny because in the journal she is just a nerd she's such a nerd she'll make video game references uh every once in a while uh she talks like a nerd it, it's so silly dude it's so silly uh, i feel like she's more open to like make references and talk about nerdy things as opposed to like in season two like when we saw marcy on screen uh she would like make references in like to video game stuff but it's not like as much as she does like in this it feels like she brings up like nerdy things like haha rpgs or it's like this is uh my party or in my rpg or like my uh creatures and caverns campaign uh little stuff like that uh, where she, it's just, it's funny how she'll just say, instead of like a group, like if, if it was Anne, she would say, oh, the planners and I went to the first temple. But whereas Marcy would say like, uh, my party geared up for our first adventure, for our first temple quest. Uh, so I don't know. It, she talks like a nerd a lot. And obviously that's just like a Marcy thing. I really love that. And it, it's like the dialogue is really witty sometimes. It's really fun to like, just kind of see, uh... There, there's a few times where she says pog she does say pog i don't think she says poggers but there's a there's a page where she says pog 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 uh, i think when she's like reacting to sasha or something it's pretty stupid uh, <laughs> there's a few pages i think there's four four pages if i remember correctly four pages of ancient amphibia writing one that uh i've already gone over on this channel that was about uh valeriana and how she actually created the calamity box gosh uh it's it's uh it's so good. It's so good. It literally, the like last five pages are so good. I would buy the entire journal just for the last five pages. Because if you're somebody who likes closure, you're going to like the journal. You're going to like the last five pages of the journal. Like, I, I think a lot of people thought the hardest thing for Amphibia was kind of fast paced, like rushed. I personally didn't think that. I thought it was perfect. Uh, just how it was. Like, maybe, maybe just like another minute. But I don't know. It, I, it, I don't know. I thought it was like really, really good though. Really, really good. But definitely my favorite episode. And the last five pages, they add a bit to the conclusion of Amphibia. So you know how we saw at the ending of Amphibia, you know, uh, Marcy at the gate, Sasha picks her up, they go drive and meet up with Anne. It adds a little bit to that. I'm not going to say anything more on that. I think, however, if you enjoy 
a little bit of closure, like a little extra details, you will like the last few pages of the journal. I thought it was really good. And the bulk of the journal is Marcy and her season one and season two adventure. That makes up, I'd say, at least like two thirds of the journal. And pretty much everything that you heard Marcy do in her theme song takeover, that's in this journal. And you know how in Marcy's theme song takeover, they had the designs. They had all those uh, side characters with Marcy. Uh, and I thought that was really interesting with Marcy's theme song takeover. It's almost like they planned for this journal to happen uh, back when they made the theme song takeover. Because when you saw Sasha, because when we saw Sasha's theme song takeover, there's not really any Toad side characters. Like you have like Percy Braddock Grime. But like there's no other extra toads that look visually distinct as opposed to the newts in Marcy's theme song takeover where there's tons of different designs and some of them don't even show up in the journal but there's a few of them that do uh and they get their own uh part in the journal like that Marcy goes on adventures with some of them and there's this whole arc that she goes on with these characters uh and it's really interesting to read about it because not only was it sort of teased in Marcy's theme song takeover but it actually is a f one of the characters in it is a foil for Marcy herself and it impacts her decision making going forward because Marcy is very indecisive about telling Anne and Sasha the truth about what she did uh, before they before she meets up with them and her adventures and discussions with Andreas really show exactly what she was thinking and why she was making those decisions. Uh, and also, I, like, when it comes to Marcy and Andreas, the book did a pretty good job. I wish there was more. I gotta say, I do wish there was more. There, there's some good Marcy and Andreas content in there that I really, really was looking forward to. That was one of the things I was looking forward to with the journal the most, and it definitely delivered. I wish there was more, though. I think when it comes to, like, just Marcy and Andreas, there's probably, like, mm, 10 pages with the two of them. And I think, like, three of them are them just getting to know each other, like, just first meeting. So, like, there's, like, seven of them that are actually, you know, Marcy and Andrews discussing. And like, it's not just mostly Marcy and Andrews, and I swear like, in almost every single entry with Andreas, it, she always puts like a very solemn, like mysterious note at the end, like Andreas had like pain in his eyes, or his eyes looked sad, or he, he said this thing, and it, and it felt like there was a deeper meaning behind it. Like there's so many of those moments with Andrews, it's just like, okay, we get it, we get it. <laughs> He's a sad boy, I know. But it, it's cool though, it's cool that they like sort of put that in there. There are some, uh, I don't know if I wanna say, not retcons, there's not really any retcons that I can think of off, off the top of my head. But like, it, there's a part in the journal where I think Marcy feels very, very like observative of the people around her. Cause she's talking about like, oh, Andreas, Andreas was saying these things, I think there's a deeper meaning behind them. And like she memorizes like so much stuff. And then for some reason she forgets the names of Sprig and Polly, which is weird. And then she says she has a hard time observing like what's going on with like Anne and Hot Pop, which like makes sense. I think it's also because Marcy was so focused on like the first temple, but it still does feel a little odd where sometimes she'll be like detailing these characters and how they feel really well. She does say she can't read people very well, but it feels like the way she writes that, I, I I guess it has to be a little contradictory because in Marcy's journal, it's from her perspective and we have to receive like truths about these characters, right? Like we can't, we're getting Marcy's perspective on the characters, but we also have to like make them a character and give them like facts about the character. Cause if it was just Marcy's perspective about the character, then the character wouldn't have any like, you know, true, quote unquote stuff about them. I guess it's probably like really tricky to write stuff like that where it's from Marcy's perspective, but you also have to be like true to the character. So you have to make your character that's bad at reading people, read people exactly on the nose so that you can fit an accurate description in the journal about their character. It's a little weird, but I think it, I think they made it work well. Like it, it does feel a little awkward. Like you're reading it and you're like, that's weird. You read people incorrectly, yet you read your friends in the uh, Newtopian Night Guard well? I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting. And it, like even Andreas, like you read Andreas uh, knowing that he's got like sadness behind his eyes or whatever. I don't know. It's a little strange. Either way, I just wanted to make a quick video about the book. And I highly recommend if you haven't got the chance to read the book. There is, apparently it's selling in all places that sell books, like Barnes and Noble and whatnot. You can get it online as a Kindle, 
Uh, you can at least read it on your computer. You can get the paperback version, the hardcover version. I've bought like four different versions of the book. I've bought paper cover, hard book, hard book signed, and a digital version because I love the book so much. And I am going to make a huge, huge video on Marcy's Journal covering everything. It's going to take me a long time, like probably a month and a half long time. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm going to put so much dang effort into that video because Marcy's Journal deserves it. And it's literally going to be a full recap of Marcy's Journal. Obviously, the best way to experience the journal is to read it for yourself. But for people in the future who, you know, maybe can't get their hands on the journal, let's say it like sells out or... They just want like a recap video because they don't want to, you know, spend money on the journal. Maybe they don't have money of their own to buy the journal because I know a lot of people would be kids, so they can't get it right away. I want to make a video that goes over everything in the journal in my own way. I I'm thinking about putting like a bunch of jokes, uh, little memes in between. I'm going to spend tons of time on the video. Uh, I think there's also a recipe. Yeah, there is a recipe in here for like a food uh, that like Anne's mom used to make Anne. And I'm going to make that during the video. Th there's so much in this book. And I can't wait to talk about it in depth and like summarize the whole thing. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really, really fun. So yeah, that's a, just my quick initial thoughts on Marcy's journal. Uh, if you wanna discuss the contents of Marcy's journal down in the description, please make sure you spoiler tag uh, for people who have yet to read the journal. Cause this is uh, a spoiler free video. I wanna make sure it's spoiler free. So if you wanna discuss anything with the journal, I've already read the journal, so it's fine. I'll see all, the, I'll see all your comments but make sure you uh, spoiler tag it if you are including spoilers for the other people in the comments. So, you know, just, just be considerate down in that good old comment section. And let's see, I just wanna know what you all think. If you've read it or if you haven't read it, just let me know what you think. And look forward to that Marcy's Journal video coming out as soon as I can get it out. It's gonna take a while though. I, it will take a while. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.